Whilst much of our time may be spent in environments we can't control, Sensio Air hopes to improve matters in your own home. This allergen and air particle analyzer closely tracks the quality of the air around you and at the same time you can input any symptoms that you're having into the app, which means that it'll match up any data on how you're feeling with what's going on in the surrounding environment. Its sensors aim to identify allergy triggers like dust mites or pollen, potential irritants such as acetone or formaldehyde, plus mold spores, harmful gases and even smoke. Allergens don't work alone. They work in conjunction with um, uh, harmful gases, temperature, humidity, and these factors have a direct impact on the way this interacts with you and causes your symptoms and outbreaks. Um, we are able to tell you exactly what was in the environment during your symptoms. And all these data that we're exchanging today allows us to really personalize, thanks to our unique algorithms, uh, the settings of your home if you have a home automation, or by giving you direct advice on how to improve the air at home, whether it's by uh, hoovering your carpet, or by washing your cat, or by simply closing the windows when it's allergy season. They're not the only company hoping to personalise the air you breathe. This device is pitching itself as a smart personal air purifier. And surprisingly, indoor air quality can be substantially worse than that of outdoors. Or for a place to simply keep track of your symptoms, then this app could help, whilst at the same time you'll be doing your bit for allergy research. Input your symptoms to the Britain Breathing app and it'll match them up to time and location-based environmental factors. The aim is to better understand common triggers and potentially learn why allergies are increasing. Of course, not all issues are environmental though and if yours is a food allergy or intolerance, then this app could come in handy. Tell Spoon Guru the foods you can't eat or about any special diet and it'll help come up with ideas and recipes for what you can eat. So for the purposes of testing the app, I've told it that I'm intolerant to gluten and shellfish so that we can see what it thinks I can and can't eat. This is the best bit for me though, you can just scan the barcode. And it tells me not to eat it. I was impressed by just how many products it had the answers for. It also came up with these clear, easy to read ingredient lists and nutritional graphs, which are handy for speed or if you struggle with the small print on labels. The next stage though could be devices like this prototype. The NEMA aims to test solid foods or liquids for gluten. A small amount is placed in this tube where it's then ground and within two minutes the device will tell you whether it's safe to consume or not. 